This video is about the various steering wheel techniques like freely orienting or using the shift and control keys in combination with the various elements of the steering wheel. Here is a quick recap of the various parts like the origin, the tool plane and the axis knob. First in the assembly environment, I drop a cover part and its orientation looks perfect because I modeled it from the assembly point of view and normally I would use the relationships the various assembly relationships from the command bar but this, uh, this part looks uh, aligned perfectly except the offsets so uh, if I select the part and with the move on select on I got a steering wheel and then I snap the origin of the steering wheel to the source point and then I choose the axis knob and point it in the direction of the target point on the target part center of the hole on the bracket and from this view it looks it's perfectly heading towards the destination now it's time to use the axis on the steering wheel and drag the part towards the destination and I'm going to snap it to the center maybe I can use explicitly the center point and the part because it's oriented perfectly it snaps into position and from every view the right view or the front view note the keyboard shortcuts at the bottom but the, there are no assembly relationships yet so I use the assembly relationships assistant simply pick the part the cover part and the destination and click process and all the relationships are created automatically and once I finish the command and select the part in the pathfinder you can see all the relationships are added so the key takeaway here is that instead of going through all the relationships manually I can simply use the steering wheel its head uh, point it from the source to the destination and snap it in one step here's another case of imported geometry it's in the wrong orientation and no matter how I reorient the view snaps back in the wrong way when I press ctrl I for isometric but I really want it in the blue circle so I pick it and now I want the steering wheel to look like this so I pick so that I can rotate it in the black arrow vertically so I press the ctrl and the axis knob and notice the axis which is highlighted and now with the ctrl key pressed I reunit it looks like the one I need so I type in the angle and press enter and I click once now I can grab the torus and rotate it once. Once again I can type in the angle and press enter. But now it is not the perfect, I'll, I want to really look it like this in the blue circle and the steering wheel should orient like this so that I can once again rotate it along the black. So once again I press the control and grab the axis knob but it is not of no use press escape. I grab the other axis knob with the control key and now it looks like this one is working. Type in the angle, press enter, looks perfect. Now I can grab the torus on the steering wheel and uh, it looks like the other, the other direction. Type in the angle, press enter and that looks perfect. In this next demonstration, let's see how the free orientation or movement of the steering wheel can be used in the part environment. Note the base coordinate system. The center of the part is offset from the base coordinate system and what I really want is that some key point which is near the center of the part is positioned exactly at the origin of the base coordinate system. So I choose uh, the bottom central part of this imported geometry because later when I am going to insert this part in the assembly the base reference planes are all centered around the base coordinate system so I orient the view and pick the axis knob and there's no shift no control this is the free orientation or movement of the steering wheel and I point it to the origin of the base coordinate system then use the axis to move the part and snap it to the origin of the base coordinate system next we will see how to use the shift key in combination with the axis knob I want to reduce the length of the leg of this caster wheel from the axle center 
the midpoint of the yoke plate on the leg it turns out to be 65 now I can simply select the axle hole and the design intent will take care of the rest of the things like concentric faces, parallel faces and tangency I grab one of the axes on the steering wheel but this is not the right way to move because it's moving only in one horizontal direction because the steering wheel is not really oriented correctly along the length of the leg so I use the shift key and grab the axis knob and snap it to the midpoint of the yoke plate now the steering wheel is oriented correctly I can grab the axis in the direction and move it slightly type in the exact distance say 5 and now check the distance it should be reduced from 65 to 60 next we'll see how to use existing geometry now I use the snap the steering wheel to the edge of the leg and because the edge is in a direction parallel to the legs length I can rotate the view and see the axis is aligned perfectly it's time to check the distance once again it should be reduced from 60 to 55 so in this way I can use the existing geometry to orient the steering wheel in this example we'll try to reorient the imported geometry using the shift on the tool plane and this is the tool plane which is the transparent ring right in the middle of the steering wheel keep the shift key pressed and click the tool plane once so instantly the steering wheel reorients and you can grab the torus and rotate the model this is different and much simpler from using the control key with the axis knob now once again I want to reorient the steering wheel use the shift key if it doesn't look good use the shift key and click once again in this way you can reorient the steering wheel much quickly compared to the control and axis knob combination in this next example let's see how you can use a shift with the origin on the steering wheel let's get back to the example where we reduce the length snapping the steering wheel to the edge I can use the shift and click the tool plane so that the steering wheel is on the same plane as the leg and use the shift key again with the origin and snap it back to the axle hole now I got the modification correct so it doesn't matter if I keep the steering wheel on the geometry which is being moved or away from it the steering wheel belongs to the hole but I can place it anywhere but not in this example where I am trying to move the hole in a direction parallel to the length of the slot you can see definitely they are moving away so I use the origin with the shift key pressed I use the slot geometry use the axis knob with the shift to orient the steering wheel in the correct orientation and now I, when I drag the axis the hole does move in a direction parallel to the slot but if you see from the top view and look at my cursor where it's moving I there is no way I can put the hole on the blue axis so I use the shift key again and I must move the steering wheel back to the, its original geometry where it belongs that is to the hole and this time around when I drag the steering wheel it is I can snap it very easily to the slot thanks for watching this video